preface my remarks by saying that David is not the preferred son of Jesse. In fact, he is an ignored son of Jesse. He is the eighth child of Jesse, his father. He does not look like his life is going anywhere. He is a shepherd boy with a destiny locked inside of him. But at this moment in his life, at the early stages in his life, he is surrounded by mediocrity. Now, mediocrity is not a bad thing. Ordinariness is not a bad thing until you have greatness inside of you. When you have greatness inside of you and you're surrounded by mediocrity, you can be tormented by what other people are satisfied with. Tormented and taunted by the fact that there is a sense, there is an inner knowing within all of us that we are people of purpose and that something is supposed to happen in our lives. The challenge is how do we get that thing that we sense in our spirit to manifest in our life when we are constantly bombarded with adversity. David is not the preferred son of Jesse. Seemingly when the enemy knows that God is going to use you in a mighty way, he does everything he can to upset the very genesis of your life to kind of set you on a path of destructive behavior, to limit any self-esteem that you might have. He doesn't do that. He doesn't fight anybody that's not destined to go anywhere. But when he senses that there's greatness inside of you, the attack comes early. It comes early. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Somebody who's had to fight all of your life had to struggle all of your life. You feel like Oprah on the color purple. I had to fight all of my life. You've been through all kinds of stuff and that is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of greatness. And David has greatness down inside of himself, but he has to go through a process for that greatness to be revealed. And over a period of time, God begins to bring forth his purpose. I